So let's see if that little post box up here is actually a post box and not just some kind of box. Hmm. Maybe the other letters in the box also keep mind they could be another boat wreck further up the river. Uh, what's this? Free stuff. Oh yeah, I know I said that I would be getting the little mod, but I hadn't. Maybe the other letters in the box also keep mind that there could be another boat wreck further up the Ponta River. But we don't have the key for it. These boots, boots though. I give armor and I'm current ones give resistance incineration 1%. I kind of vote for we put on our new boots just because the rusty well balanced daggers. Hmm. Well, we can't have to drop them because otherwise we're past our weight limit. Oh. Okay, so being at the limit is also bad. Yes, yes, game on. No, we're carrying too much weight and I am absolutely sorry for forgetting to get that little mod. But whatever. On your desk, is that a drop box for the Royal Post? Yes, I am the local Royal Postmaster. One of my many responsibilities. Would you mind if I looked inside? Absolutely no problem. Enjoy your reading. So long. And there we go. Free stuff. What's this? There's something somewhere. The wrong buttons. Hmm. That's too weighty. Louis Master's report. Drop further up the Ponta River. Keep in mind that you could find another boat wreck. See your inquiry regarding a local band producing fist tech. I hasten to inform you that we have not recorded any activity of this kind in Flotsam. Uh, excluding tavern brawls, the town is mercifully free of vice. <laughs> uh, a fact that we all owe to the energetic efforts of Commandant Laredo. Christ. Rumours of the brigand Dimitri are likewise false. The rogue in question was executed for his crimes, of which I apprised, in, apprised you in my previous report. Commandant Laredo urged me to convey that he advises you to replace your informer, as the present one apparently fabricates information, but simply he lies like a dog thus tarnishing the good name of the intelligence service. The Commandant also wonders whether your next inquiry will regard a flock of pigs flying over flotsam or elves approaching the garrison's walls. Gentlemen, please. May the gods preserve Temeria Louis Mers, Royal Burgermeister. Yeah, he's, um, he's just lying through his teeth. Let's see. Or go with Sheila to find the cairn. Let's just find Sheila. First, we should find somewhere to sell all of our excess junk. With excess junk, I might also be crafting materials because we simply don't have the <laughs> well, the weight capacity to carry all that much. We could also just go into the bank and drop a whole bunch of our stuff in there. I think we'll do that that way. Let's see how much money do we have. I wouldn't say we're lacking of any, but of course we could always do it more. We'll go down and we'll drop off some of our stuff. Oh, the soundtrack's beautiful. The game in and of itself really is in many ways beautiful. Beautifully put together. Watch out for the lift I like how everyone's just named it. Storage. Mm. These conflagration traps, we'll sell those because I'm fairly certain we have no use for those at all. These diagrams also have a weight on them, which I find a 
bit weird from a gameplay perspective because you will want to have all the diagrams on you. Let's see. Not that waste of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Iron ore, definitely. Can't that in the storage. Leather too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now we just cleared out our hundred way. And some timber because that's also weighty. There we go. And then we have a bunch of not so weighty stuff. And we'll sell some more random garbage like this sword. Like, like this sword. He just sells food that's not all of that. I don't know, nice looking. Let's see, lots of mutagens of those. These traps. Sell those too. And some magnifying glasses, apparently completely worthless. Oh, we could have some other books in the storage, but... Oh, how Let's keep it. Oh, no. I'll put the books that aren't hospital files. This one is, might be important. Oh, come on, game. I might stop watching in the, uh, in the thingy. Let's try again. Now we're allowed to use the nice. Okay, you leave us record. Medical notes, report for Tala. Hello, Sam. Rest here seems uh, vaguely important. Oh, but we can now run again and we can pick up more stuff. Oh, well, that's. Uh, let's see, do they have any of these have anything new to say? We don't need new weapons, so we have a last time about that. Yep. And there's probably things not with that too. I could find Venom Roach. We'll follow up on his uh I don't know what it's called uh, the Lurido meeting. Just I'm going by memory now and trying to find him. So I may well, may very well be wrong when I enter this building, and it's actually the right one. So, Narita um. wants the Scoyatel gone for good. He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Your vets outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. Narita's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. <laughs> You'll get a chance to show your medal. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Squirtel. I sent the boys out into the woods. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's no picnic hunting elves in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My <laughs> people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. It's our move. It's a long range. Come on, mm, have nasty. a drink with us. What? Yes. Sword to sell it later. I wouldn't mind a shot. Celebrating something? A great victory. Interesting. We did away with Veopatis, or whatever the hell they call him. Thirteen hacked off his head and nailed it to his arse. You behaved like swine. What? We're not allowed a bit of fun? It was only a wooden puppet. Come on, let's play our game. Right, toothpicks. Knife throwing. Care to try me? Sure, gladly. Vess against the Witcher. Place your bets, gentlemen. Ten to one on Vess. <laughs> Witcher, map on the wall. Vess, barrel! Witcher, cured ham! Face! Fish aid! Witcher, all on the wall! All on the wall? Best wings! Am I blind? <laughs> there they are! 
Those are the shitheads who desecrated Vale Patis' statue! Pitchforks! Watch what you say, Bumpkin. What's going on? Nothing. We had a little competition. They threw knives at a statue of Vale Patis. It's blasphemy! Are gods desecrated by soldiers? They're no ordinary soldiers, but blue stripes. Know what that means? Blue or green, it's all the same to me. They're horsons, all of them. What did you say? I, I, I just... You said what you thought. Good, that's the way. Beer for this brave man. And drink to my health. Here's to the whore's son, Vernon Roach. Vernon. You've got shitty glassware in Flotsam. Not fit for a hero, but I've got an idea. Drink the Horson's beer from the floor! Geralt, do something! I'll try. Vernon! Leave them alone. <laughs> what if I don't? So we're beating up Vernon Rush. Yeah, he's definitely an angry, violent man. Makes you wonder whether it was nepotism or something else that got him this position, because... His behaviour is not fit for a tactician or commander. Enough of that! Stop it! Get up, Vernon. Didn't mean that to happen. <laughs> Leave me alone. You're too hard on Roach. I don't like sadists. Vernon was a half-orphan. What does that have to do with it? He was raised in poverty. His mother turned to whoring to keep them from starving. The other children called him a whore's son. Hasn't been able to handle that insult since. Come on. Let's have a drink. Mm. See, I'm also... Is this a computer? I think it's just a computer making some weird noises. Uh, well, let's see. You want to drink with these people? I would really. I mean, we just. Mm. So now we know about Roach and his background. And why he can't stand being called a horse son. Because he's technically a one, but of course. Mm. <laughs> Turn to whoring as a desperate means that's. That's desperate, and that's, that's a sad little story. But uh, we've just beaten him up. Just watched him and his men behave like, well, you know, rather poorly, really. So while we're always good for a drink, let's refuse because Geralt is Geralt. And while he has accepted drinks from many weird people in weird situations before and in the books, this is just, uh, I mean, he's just beaten up Roach. He could potentially hold a grudge, and, you know, the mood is already completely soured, so. Some other time, maybe. Really, actually, before we go back outside, I accidentally. Come on, let's see. Where is the ore on the wall? Oh, they met this one. It's not on the bloody wall, it's ending up a barrel. Oh, oh we need a key. Take this cutlass though. I have a robust cutlass, so that's better. Plenty of stuff to sell again now. Let's see anything. Was that free money I saw? It was. So let's leave him again. Any blue stripes, which they all mean the same means to an end for us, but uh, maybe they'll turn out to actually be sympathetic people and whatever. But so far, judging them based on what we've just seen, I mean, I wouldn't want to befriend them. And as Gold said, he dislikes sadists. What do you want to prove with those swords? 
and I am partial to girls worth thinking though. I don't particularly like sadists either. Squirrel sorcerer summoned this rain. And sure. And if you get insulted to your face, what should you do? You you should definitely not start beating a man up for it. I'd say that's preposterous. And that's just plain rude. That's not proper behaviour. If someone insults you, you can insult them back. Potentially, you could also try to defuse the situation and be the better man. If you start beating someone up, you're escalating the conflict. And, you know, instead of defusing it, let's see. Let's equip ourselves with the Dancing Star again, just cause I'm into here. She's sleeping because it's the middle of the night. But can we rob her? We can, including getting some finely scribbled notes. And as the Karen, it is beyond any doubt that the same creature, as mentioned in accounts of all local booksellers, offer was surprisingly broad. It is the same creature as mentioned there. I've investigated this it as thoroughly as possible from afar. The monster is larger than I thought. And I will probably be unable to play it on my own. More research might help, but there is no time. Might or which suffice. So, if she's writing those notes before we appeared, that's a coincidence, and if it's afterwards, I don't know what to call it then. Let's see, is there something else? I mean, there's a bookseller. I tried find, looking for before, but I couldn't really find him, so. Mm. Yeah, Vernon Roach is an interesting man. Witcher, I've been awaiting you. We need to kill a monster that sinks boats. <laughs> Afraid? No, but I suspect we'll need to draw it onto the shore. Leave that to me. I can't wait. I bet it's something spectacular. Believe it. You'll do the honors. The honors? Once on the riverbank. You'll kill him. Her. Whatever <laughs> it is. Bunch of good questions to ask, so let's get to it. Did you find out where the Karen came from? I didn't even try. So I take it you know it was created by a mage. I guessed as much. And what of it? Do you wish me to feel guilty, apologize for some madman? I don't intend to. How did you know it was a mage? I didn't. Just guessed. <laughs> oh, Geralt. The wise Grand King, sarcastic smartass. Which ball means it's a front for his kind of whiny, <laughs> hard little boy persona who he really is, but uh, that's what makes Geralt so interesting and so fun. That he's probably a properly rounded person who has all of his issues and he's not dealing with them particularly well. But he's uh, portrayed in an entertaining fashion, so you don't want to strangle him for being an autist or being too autistic for his own good. Instead, want to you know find out oh, what's Geralt getting up to now? But enough about that. That's a... Triss claims the Karen was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. What's that? It looks impressive. A megascope. What does it do? Many complicated magical operations. It allows me to communicate with other sorceresses, for instance. I never expected to see you at Laredo's. Whereas <laughs> I was sure you would show up there. The Commandant is terribly jealous about his small trading post. Anyone of import is summoned to hear him out sooner rather than later. What did he want from you? That is my concern, certainly none of yours. We're not a tandem, Geralt. We'll kill the Kran together, but that is all. Let's see if she has anything on her mind other than business. If we're going to work together, we should get to know each other. Is that so? Very well. Ask what you will. Are you and Triss friends? Friends? Colleagues, I'd say. Acquaintances, perhaps. I know all the sorceresses in the North. We aren't that many in number. Which is why we support one another. 
And that last round, you'll be good. <laughs> I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairons are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. Any dangerous, even on land. Okay. Let's boot ourselves down. And get closer to it. Of course, before jumping down completely, we will chuck down some potions. Including our immunity to poison potion, because getting eaten might not be our main concern, or probably also still is, but not getting poisoned and dying as a result is also something I think is high enough list of priorities. Oh no. I hope we're not going to get booped down there immediately. So that would be unfortunate. So we are booped down immediately. Well, I goofed. This is halfway my fault because we cannot meditate here and yeah. But I'm gonna do a little one just a tiny load to here to our little quick save. Before we go too far down, let us sit down and drink potions. We'll take our monkeys. Do we have anything that gives us protection against anything? No, we do not. Take the swallow just in case we get hit. And rook gives us more damage. It's more of a vigor regeneration. I don't think we'll need vigor, so let's go for the damage. And let us drink. It's a minor thing that, you know, you get close to the final drop down point and then you get the cutscene beforehand. Uh, whereas, you know, more well designed way of doing it, in my honest opinion, would be to have the, you know, you do the last jump down instead of getting forced down there. It's less cinematic, you'd have to go do this, then cutscene, rather than getting close to it, and then getting the cutscene. But it would allow you more direct control. So we'll get a few steps before it, and then boom, we're down there. We'll just watch the cutscene again, because why not? The Vernon Roach is, uh... Well, to put it bluntly, I particularly don't really like the man, as we've seen now, but, uh... We'll make do with this company. the A button right now, A key. Yep. That's the 
explore the trap. See, it hurts when it hits us, so let's kill us. with some Gwen because otherwise we're going to be in deep shit. Come on! Damn it. Oh. Guess we'll some mucus on us. We'll have a quick time of that. So. Good. Getting smashed. I mean, there's nothing to. I'm gonna tag. I don't know if this goes under the bar. Killing itself mainly by ruining that, so I don't mind it. But, uh... I think it hit us and at the same time. did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm. Hmm. A sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? <laughs> Playing it tough, like every witcher. I had no idea it'd be so big. Triss was right. It's mutated. Magically induced. I must get to work, collect the most valuable ingredients. What a shame so much will go to waste. Forgive me, time is of the essence. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Does it say King Kong or... I and mean, you'll have to watch footage back, but uh, I'm fairly certain it did. But I'm not, I might be wrong. Karen Trophy and much other Karen stuff. Neat. Yeah, let's go see if we can't loot more Karen goodies.